trans men are those people who were assigned female at birth but identify as male uh, and this research thinks about them and also non-binary people with a cervix so again assigned female at birth um, but they identify in a different way that's neither completely masculine or feminine sometimes people think that because someone is trans they would have had genital surgery to remove the cervix but we already know that um, around one in five trans men in the US and one in three non-binary people won't won't have had a hysterectomy and, and don't want one. A really important figure for me is firstly that 10% of uh, those who answered this survey clearly didn't want a hysterectomy um, and around 35% were still considering their options. This group were less likely to be up to date with screening and less likely to have a successful smear and that's that's a multifactorial problem. There were some very specific barriers um, in the UK um, one is that the way that we record sex and gender within the NHS means that if you go to your GP and you record your sex or gender, which is the same one and the same thing at the moment as male, you fall off the, the cervical screening register. So you're not automatically called. Only around about half of those eligible for screening felt they had sufficient information. And we've worked with Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust, who partnered with us on this study to produce just that information, which is available for both healthcare professionals and for patients themselves.